Hi. Um, May sewing. That's what this video is. Sewing from the month of May. <laughs> um, I made another circle skirt. <laughs> of course I did, because I can't stop making circle skirts. Finally, once I figured out that they are some of the easiest skirts to make. <laughs> um, so I made it out of leftover of this fabric. This plaid that I used to make the Queen's Gambit dress. Um, I had so much of it left, I just, I made another circle skirt. Um. I was going to make a cape, like the um, the red one I made, um, but it turns out the fabric wasn't quite wide enough, so I didn't end up making it. Um, instead, I made scrunchy. So this one I followed a pattern that um, Lucy, Loopsy, the YouTuber I like, um, did. So I don't remember the measurements. <laughs> But yeah, um, and it's got some elastic in it that makes it stretchy. Uh, probably not the right elastic, I don't know. I have so much elastic, but I have a matching scrunchie. I also made a bow. I'm going to put on one of those um, clips that snap, uh, but I don't have any on me at the moment, so we just have a bow. See, little bow. <laughs> um, and a headband. Very simple. Bend, you know. Um, I also made a two piece outfit for my sister, um, made out of this great purple fabric with some like circles on it and things. It's actually made out of three different types of fabric. Um, it's got an accent piece of this other purple with some flowers on it, and then, um, the facing for the jacket part is made with um, it's made with this fabric I actually bought to make a cover for her treadmill. I had some of that left over so I made that. Um, so the patterns I used are this McCall's pattern. We did this um, B skirt. She chose this one specifically. The ruffles. My goodness, the ruffles. I'll get back to that. <laughs> um, and then I made this jacket from this pattern, this butt trick pattern from Nicole Miller. I made her this jacket. Um, that was fun. Um, it was fun to have to piece together fabric because turns out I didn't quite have enough. Um, but the good thing is, my sister, no offense, but she's not terribly tall, so it was actually quite good. I could make the whole, almost the whole thing out of like two meters of fabric, <laughs> which is great. Um, but yeah, the ruffles on this skirt, <sighs> I don't know how they're supposed to be made, but they didn't work quite well, and the skirt ended up tapering. Um, so I ended up taking in her skirt because it was in, it was very big on her, it was like a bag. So I ended up taking in the sides and then it fit the ruffle perfectly well. You'll see in the b-roll footage, um, it actually looks quite good on her. Um, I told her, I told her if she wears it with a green shirt inside she'll end up looking like Daphne from Scooby-Doo around the um, 90s, 2000s era. Um, and she liked that idea so. Who knows, maybe we'll have someone to cosplaying as Daphne in the household. <laughs> I also made a blouse for my mum. Because her birthday is coming up. Um, at the time you see this video, her birthday's probably already passed. Um, yeah, I made her this, this lovely blouse with like, uh, like three quarter sleeves. I don't know, people call three quarter sleeves, got the three quarter sleeves. Um, it's got a sweetheart neckline. Um, and the neckline's, I think the neckline is bound. I'm pretty sure I bound the neckline with some bias binding. Um, 
too kind of tied in with the pants that she decided she was going to wear for her birthday outfit. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, and it looked really cool, so that's a good thing. I like when these things turn out. <laughs> waistcoats. <laughs> I just had enough of the green plaid fabric left over to make waistcoat. The patterns don't match. I don't really mind. Um, mostly because like I had to scrounge together my fabric to actually make this. Um, the fabric I'm using for lining is some cotton homespun that I actually used for um, my birthday dress a couple years ago. Um, I also had just enough of that one left to make the lining. Um, so the inside is fully faced um, with some iron-on interfacing so it's quite stiff. Um, these buttons, I have no idea where I got them but they are beautiful. Dress project, which is going to have the same sort of bodice, and I forgot to mention it in the video itself, so I'm saying it in a voiceover here. And um, that's pretty much all I had time to sew this month. I have some assignments that are due, and they're kind of taking priority. <laughs> um, but next month I'm on uni break, so my plan is to make my birthday dress and that's going to be a whole video. I'm going to dedicate the whole video for the month of all of June to my birthday dress because it's got some finicky bits to it, it's got this whole pattern that I need to make myself. Um, that's going to be fun. That's going to be really really fun. Um, I'm going to really enjoy making it, I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, if you enjoyed this please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, hit subscribe, that helps a lot. Um, yeah, uh, next week we will start my vlog series that'll take the rest of the month of the weekend trip to Warnable, because I can tell you now, because, um, yeah, yeah, at the time of this video, I should be on the way home, so, weekend trip to Warnable. That'll be a vlog and that'll take the rest of the month for me to upload the days. So I hope you enjoy those. Um, next month you'll get the birthday dress. Hopefully you'll get the Love Never Dies analysis I'm still working on. Um, the Stand By Me and Now and Then comparison, coming of age movies. Sorry about that noise, I have no idea what that was. Um, and I will figure out whatever the next video is because it's like what five months five weeks in a month and I've only got three of those weeks planned out for what to make or what to do so we will see what else I come up with <sighs> yeah I'm hoping to be able to have like a bunch of videos to post when I get back from Warnable because that'd be fun <laughs> that'd be good <sighs> 
Yeah, next month it'll just be the Warner Bull trip, so the month afterwards you'll get the Love Never Dies analysis, the birthday dress, and the, um, Stand By Me comparison. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I will see you next week, and have a good day.